Well, I was trying to decline to be quiet. <laughs> I think it was Aaliyah was shooting a free throw. Or somebody was shooting a free throw. And I was like, I appreciate it. But just trying to get them to be quiet. But um, obviously, it's really cool. I mean, um, my teammates have been finishing the ball really, really at a high rate. Like, my assist numbers, that's because of them. Like, just finding them in position to be successful. Whether it's AB, whether it's Liss. Um, they've done a really good job of that. And, um, but, yeah, I guess it's cool. Um, Matt, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Caitlin, to go off that, uh, when you pulled down the 10th rebound, uh, the crowd went crazy. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you know then that you had the triple double? <clears throat> I did, yeah. Um, honestly, wasn't like too aware, but like I think everybody was a little confused as to why they were going so nuts over a rebound. I mean, they can do that every time, I guess, but that was one of them. Well, the way you guys close the game defensively to get all those stops defense is something I think you harped on day one of training camp. What stood out to you about that final six minutes? Yeah, there was a lot of communication. Um, we tried some different schemes, everyone just being ready for that. Um, I just think we defended well the whole game. They hit tough shots. They're a great team, but for us to really um, lock in and lock down those last few minutes, especially those last possessions, uh, was great for us. And Caitlin, what? What does this last three-game stretch maybe have you learned about this group? The fact that you're hung in there with Vegas, almost had that, and then got Phoenix before then. Like, it feels like you guys are hitting a stride right now. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're definitely playing good basketball. I feel like we're definitely finding some confidence in what we're being able to do out there on the court. We're playing together better. Uh, but I think, like, the biggest difference for us has been when teams make runs, we don't crumble. Um, I think what a delivery get out there, how it, their biggest lead was 11 there in the third, um, and we, we just found a way to stay resilient and kind of close the gap, or that might have even been in the first quarter. Um, like, we always believe we were in the game. Um, and for us, like, I think that's where we've kind of been able to change our mindset and really just stay together and attack it together. And when we got down six with three minutes to play, like, that's nothing for us. Like, that's two possessions, and that's exa- exactly what it was the next two possessions after that timeout. And they had one, and then Kelsey comes down and hits three, and the game's tied up just like that, and we really don't look back after we got it tied. So... I'm um, just part of our group, our, our re- resiliency. Let's go Zion, then Lou. This for both of you. Lexi was in the game for the last, like, 12 or 13 minutes, and she she made big plays on both ends. What does it say about her that, you know, her minutes have wavered, but in a game like this, when you needed her down the stretch, she, she came through? Yeah, Lexi's always ready. Um, no matter what, she's always ready when her name is called, and I think you saw that tonight. She came and made big plays, was great defensively, great communicator, was able to score that ball, get to the basket. I mean, she does everything that we need her to do, and so it's just great to see that she was able to do this tonight. Mm-hmm. For both of you, um, according to what Caitlin just talked about, about not crumbling, um, as you did a little bit in the beginning of the year, do you sense at all New York being surprised that you didn't go away when they started, they got used to being in those big runs and they got up by 11. Did you read anything in their faces that suggested that, you know, we got this, you know, we, we used to being these people, anything like that? No, I think so. No, I mean, to be honest, I didn't really look at their faces, so I don't know. Um, But I don't know. I think we just like played good defense. I don't think, I mean, they're one of the best teams in the league. I don't think they're, that's their approach. I don't think they go about things like that. I think they approach every single opponent with the same amount of respect. Um, and, you know, some days are going to be better for them than others. That's just how basketball works. They pride themselves on making a lot of threes. They shot 23% from three. Like, um, that's, you know, if we can do that, like, we're going to be in good shape of holding them to, you know, 10 made threes. Like, that's what they really want to do. So, um I mean, I thought they battled and, and were good, and, you know, they got down 14, they came back, and then they went 11, um, so I don't think I sense that at all. Go left to right, Matt, and Chloe. Yeah, Leah, in Las Vegas, Caitlin was saying that that was probably one of the better crowds from an energy standpoint. Does today sort of top that? Oh, absolutely. Uh, well, outside of our crowds, yeah, crowds are always number one. Come on, man. Absolutely. So, I mean, coming here, having this home court advantage, it's great. You feel the energy from the start of the game, from warm-ups. Like, you know that they're there. They're rooting for us. And so, it was great energy today. So, Chloe, then we'll go back in the second row behind you. Yeah. Aaliyah, I believe the last um, time you guys got close against Liberty is when you had that three-pointer to tie the game and then go into overtime last year. Just what does it mean to get this win and have a comeback win that you know, you were able to close out this time. Yeah, I mean, it's great being able to close out these games, especially against the Liberty and the way that we have played them before and the, those ending scores earlier in the season. And so to have this one, especially on our home court, get the win. Um, and just how Caitlin said, like, we stayed together. We didn't waver no matter what. And we're resilient. 
Um, Caitlin, you're the first Fever player to ever get a triple double. Um, congratulations on that. How much does that big of a win add on to that accomplishment? Honestly, like I'm just I'm just happy we won. Um, like I've said, like I take a lot of pride in being able to do a lot of different things for this team. Like I want to be able to. I think we're really good when I can get the ball off the glass and just go in transition and find my teammates and set them up. Um, but like obviously 13 assists, like that means my my teammates made 13 13 shots off my passes. So um, that goes to them. Um, but I mean, I don't know. She's so humble, isn't she? Well, I don't know what to say. Like, yeah, I, I mean, it's great. That's I don't know. Pretty cool, Caitlin. Great job, sister.